Surging cases and the emerging threat of the Omicron variant has UNM changing its COVID protocol at the pit. After the Christmas weekend, most Lobo fans will have to bring proof of vaccination or a negative test. News 13's Annalisa Pardo is live at the pit with reaction from today's announcement. Annalisa. Yeah, Jess, UNM Athletics says it made this decision with guidance from university leadership and medical experts. It's a sign of the changing times. Um, things change, and we have to pivot and adapt um, when things happen, and this is one of those times. So. COVID cases climb in the new contagious Omicron variant spreads. UNM is announcing new requirements to get into the pit. Our student athletes are the ones that, first and foremost, we want to keep them safe, healthy, um, so they can do what, what they're here to do. But we also have, have a responsibility to make sure our fans and everyone else who comes and visits the pit um, have a safe and, and, and uh, you know, healthy environment. Starting December 28th, all Lobo fans 12 and older will have to bring their COVID-19 vaccination card to get into the pit. They have to be fully vaccinated, which means two shots of Pfizer or Moderna or one shot of the Johnson & Johnson. But a booster is not required. People who are partially vaccinated or unvaccinated can still enjoy games at the pit by bringing a negative PCR test taken within 72 hours of the event or a negative antigen test taken within a day of the event. Home self-tests will not be accepted, but UNM Athletics is partnering with Southwest Labs to have free on-site testing. It was trying to provide a safe environment, being responsible to everybody that was in the venue, but seeing how we can do this and provide options for everybody as much as possible. UNM students we talked to had mixed feelings about the changes. I've been to like a lot of places where that's kind of like they're already doing that. I get the university's approach. Uh, I don't necessarily love it, uh, but it makes sense. COVID protocol at the pit has been an ongoing discussion. Last month, university leadership shared some concerns of financial impacts and staffing. And the financial component of this is very important, but it's not our driving factor. UNM Athletics estimates it will need to bring on about 20 to 30 employees to implement the policy, but will open the pit 90 minutes early to allow fans more time to complete the extra steps and make it to their seats on time. But it doesn't feel great having to show a piece of paper saying I'm in some group uh, to go to the games. I still love supporting my Lobos uh, no matter what, and I'll still be at the games. Okay. All Lobo fans still must adhere to all other state health regulations that are in place, and that includes wearing a mask while inside. The new policy at the pit will be in effect at least through the end of January. Jess? All right, thank you, Annalisa. UNM is the sixth of the 11 Mountain West teams to implement such a policy in their arenas.